Now the time. All right, if you have some old boots, perhaps, that you don't use anymore, you got them in your closet, uh, don't get rid of them just yet because you can actually do something really cool with them. Here with me now is Mary Gervin, owner of ABQ Leather. Good morning, Mary. Thanks for dropping in. Good morning, Liz. It's well, nice to be here. You know, you have a very unique concept, I think, here. You basically take boots and turn them into purses and all sorts of other stuff. Yes, I do. So let's talk about this. Um, you've been in business, what, a couple years now? 2011, I started abqleather.com and uh, have been very busy ever since. I retired in 2010, so this is my post-retirement business. Yeah, obviously, a, a passion that you have. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about what you brought in. Uh, you brought, for example, a pair of boots here. So that you can see what I start with. <laughs> yeah, this is what you start with. Yes. And this is like the products, the, the, the final well, product. These are two boot top purses. I brought in some of my other purses just to show off, but this is what I make from boots. So you take boots and you make, a, this is basically a custom purse, yes. folks. Yes, yes. And this is your work. Yes. You, you do, I mean, the stitching, everything. The whole thing. Wow. So what, what do folks need to do? I mean, let's say you have some boots lying around. They just call you up, contact you, come right. by and drop them off. Yeah, I take a look at them. And the boots inspire me. The boots tell me what they want me to do with them. And I love it because they all have so much character. I'm not, I'm not starting from scratch. I'm starting from something that's already exists and turning it into something new and, and hopefully useful and beautiful. That is interesting. This purse here, I, I kind of, I'm gravitating toward, toward this one because I'm, I'm, I love mm -hmm. brown. Uh, obviously, you work with a lot of leather, mostly leather, mostly right? Mostly leather. Now, does, does this purse have a story to it? Um, well. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of all have a story, <laughs> right? Do. That purse's story is that you called me and asked me to come in and I didn't have any boot top purses, so I quickly threw one together How for the show. How long does this take you to do? Well, each purse is different. That one in particular took me about two and a half to three days to work on because I wanted it to be special and I did the lining and so forth. Some of them are much more simple. This one took probably four or five hours to make. This black one right mm -hmm. here, four or five hours. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at this. And uh, average cost, I mean, I'm sure it varies, right? It does it just vary depends. considerably um, based on whether I provide the boot or you provide the boot, um, whether there's a custom lining or not. Um, the conchos, I put um, crystals on some, all sorts of embellishments, mm -hmm. it depends, but the price is generally between 150 to 350 dollars. Let me tell you, folks, that is not bad considering you are getting a custom-made mm -hmm. purse. Um, not, now, purses are not the only thing that you do with, no. with boots. Well, with, I, with leather or with leather with for leather. that matter. I okay. make um, concealed carry purses. Um, I make holsters, sheaths, belts. Um, I make a gorgeous deerskin brown coat that I've sold all over the world. Um, all sorts of things. Anything that's made out of leather, I can generally come up with something fun. That is fantastic. And all of this kind of came about because you, you said you retired and sewing is a passion that you have. Since I was a child, in, um, I started working on leather in 1998 when we lived in Vienna, Austria. And the, the landlord had a leather business, so I traded some website development for leather and actually made this, this very first thing I sewed out of leather. Your outfit here? Yes. Oh my goodness. And I fell in love with it, but I didn't have the, the tools. So after we came home from Vienna, then I really started collecting the tools and the machinery and, and so forth and buying lots of leather and it mm -hmm. turned an interest into a hobby, into a business. Into a business, that is amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, Mary, your your stuff is gorgeous. Uh, we do have a link on our website. We've made it very easy for you to learn more about what Mary does, including her business, at ABQ Leather. All you have to do is just go to krqe.com and click on the CASA tab. Thank you so much again, Mary. Thank Best you of luck so much. to you.